We're out in the Herefordshire countryside, not far from my house, on a permission where uh, we've been taking care of a few foxes while the farmer's been lambing over the last few weeks. Um, there's still some obvious fox activity around here, so we're out now this evening, last light. Um, Caller's out at about 135 yards over this way. The sun is literally just about to set. We're actually currently trying out a new call recorded by a good mate of mine, Kev Smith. It's actually a, it's actually a recording of a, a, a real Herefordshire hare, and there's plenty of those on this land. Um, tend to see more hares than we do rabbits on this, so uh, kind of hoping it's going to work for us tonight. The call is set out, as I say, about 130, 140 yards from here, uh, upwind of us. We're sat on a bank. Uh, the call is all set about 30 or 40 yards out of the side of a wood. We know there's a run just out of the corner of the wood, not that far from it. So we're hoping, we're hoping, hopefully at last light, we'll just be able to pull him out of the wood and onto the caller. As we all know, there's no guarantees with foxing and whilst Kev's call did its job, a couple of hours had soon passed and no shots had been taken. So it's now about 10 o'clock picked up a couple of sets of eyes on the edge of the woods but nothing that we could really ID. Um, it was fairly clear they were foxes but couldn't get a clear sight picture on them and more to the point we were shooting into woods which is never a good idea. Um, we we're going to leave the caller where it is, uh, go and have a look around some of the rest of the farm and then come back to this spot in a little while and hopefully draw one of them out. Collecting our gear, Nick and I set off on foot and using the night sight spotter extreme had a good look around the rest of the farm for any sign of Charlie. There was no shortage of sheep, a good helping of bats and a slightly alarming solitary ewe but not a fox in sight. But as we arrived back at our original location and fired up the Icotec GC500 we immediately spotted a fox out in the open. However, we'd been winded, and this one quickly made its escape. It's been one of those nights. We've been given the runaround, and unfortunately, not a safe shot. Picked up a few sets of eyes, but just nothing presenting itself, and certainly not hanging around long enough, so. I don't know. If it was easy, we wouldn't do it, would we? <laughs> <laughs> 